Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna start with the good campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06. Good campaign, the hardest difficulty of course, and let's get it started. Mordor is the land of the Dark Lord Sauron. He has dominion over this bleak and wasted landscape, and all who enter it. Sauron wages war with all of Middle-earth. He must be stopped, or all shall fall into darkness. Oh yeah. The hobbit Frodo Baggins now bears the ring, guarded by a fellowship drawn from all the free peoples of Middle-earth. Earth. The One Ring must be returned to Mount Doom and destroyed in the very fires of its creation. The Fellowship, Aragorn, Boromir, Gandalf, Gimli, Legolas, Frodo, uh, Baggins, Pippin, Merry and Sam. And Moria is of course the first mission, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it started. The Mines of Moria. Once proud city of the dwarves, its ruined halls are now infested with vile goblins. Okay, guys. So let's kill some goblins. Let's call it a mine. A mine! This is no mine. It is a tomb. We have but one choice. Guide the fellowship through the halls of Moria. Moria. Say no more, I got you. PowerPoint wise guys, we are able to pick up the heal uh, or the draft. Unfortunately, as you can see, we have not the Elvin Gifts available in this um, mod for BFME 1. Elvin Gifts was a passive ability throughout the entire mission, which was making our hero stronger. So I believe this is the reason why it's going to be a bit more challenging. Because as you can see, Elvin Gifts doesn't exist at all. We have an entire new PowerPoint spellbook with also new images. Draft is kind of useless, that's why we're gonna pick heal now, for the first mission at least. Um, purchase the power, rank all heroes to level 2, find fi 5 treasures, destroy the Balrog, all fellowship members must survive, that's not optional by the way, that's like, if you lose one of them, you're gonna lose the mission, and guide the fellowship through the halls of Moria. We have also new images for every I've single hero in the Shadow and Flame mod. May go Let's kill some goblins. Ah! Oh, Gandalf has already leadership available. Look at the leadership. 150% armor, 150% more damage and 150 more combat experience. And units nearby become immune to fear too. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Mary got... <laughs> no way. Wait a second. Throw rocks, throw rocks, throw rocks, throw rocks. So we gonna we make we need to make sure that hobbits are in safety all the time because they are quite squishy. What is this? Esquire of Rohan, Mary is in one of, Mary gains 100 percent damage while near Eowyn. That's not gonna be the case in this one. But um no actually this is also not gonna be the case in this one. So Beragon isn't around. Sam has no abilities and Frodo has also no abilities. Uh, we have the Horn of Gonzo available with level 1 actually. Nearby units gain 25% attack. And stuns enemies too. That's crazy. And shield bash. Bash enemies with bottom your shield. And leadership also available with level 1. 50% armor and fear resistant. Gimli has the extra. We can right click on this one. That means he's going to automatically cast it whenever it's available. Legolas will have the Hulk strike as we know. Also different image. Aragorn has the chance to fight with the bow by the way. And also Atelas are available with level 1. But we need a sword fighter. And Gandalf has of course the Visa Plus. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Heal is reloading. And when you pick something from the spellbook, unlike in normal skirmish matches, you will have to wait until it's reloading from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't use it immediately after purchasing the PowerPoint from the spellbook. Okay, so we have right now like one uh, Gandalf, uh, Aragorn, Gimli and Boromir. Those are our melee fighters. And then we have Legolas who is the archer and uh, hobbits are throwing rocks all the time. Okay. Okay, we need to make sure that Aragorn is the one who gets the last hit. I want him to unlock the flame of the vest. 
The Choir rank 2, 100% damage, 50% armor, 25% movement speed, passive upgrade, 50% damage, 50% armor when activated. Aragorn receives Anduril, this is fought, which was reforged from the shards of Narsil. Okay. And yeah, he has also the blue swords now. As you can see, he's moving quite fast. I believe he's going to be the fastest hero. Look how fast he is. More goblins! More goblins? No problemo. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I don't... Uh, we shouldn't have wasted that one, but actually, it's loading quite fast. There is a troll. Aragorn. Look how fast Aragorn is. This guy is like... Running wild. But troll is like, I don't care about how fast you are. I want to see the shield bash. Let's not use it. The troll is already dead. It's fine. And uh, we also need to make sure... Aragorn, don't, 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 don't take it. Uh, who will not... Uh, I mean, let's give it to Gimli. Because Legolas doesn't need that. Legolas will kill countless of goblins in this one. But it's Gimli yet. I mean, unlike uh, Aragorn, Gimli is not the fastest, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving on. And once again, one of the missions, uh, bonus missions, is to rank up our heroes, all of them, to level 2. So we, we need uh, Frodo Baggins, uh, Boromir, Peregrine Tuk, and Gandalf. Until we reach Balrog. Wait, hold on a second. Ooh, nice. With a blast from the young Gandalf. I mean, old Gandalf. Look how old he is. And also he is able to mount uh, to get mounted on his shadow fax once he's level 5. As far as I can see, there is no Gandalf the White Power Point from the spellbook anymore, as well as not Anduril. So I believe once you reach level 5 with Gandalf in the Shadow and Flame mod, you will automatically become the Gandalf the White. I believe. So let's go up first of all, let's kill some more units because we will need experience. And we can also level up now one of the other heroes. I would like to give it to... I mean, let's be honest, Boromir doesn't really need it. Let's give it to Gandalf because we will need to unlock the Lightning Sword. Okay, that's the thing. Boromir is almost level 2, same as Frodo Baggins. The only ones far away are uh, Pippin and Samwise Gamgee. But once again, they don't need to reach level 2. It's only optional if you want to be able to achieve all the bonuses for extra points at the end of the mission, you know? Evil lies beyond these doors. Oh. We leave no one behind. Here lies Bali, son of Hundin, Lord of Moria. He is dead then. We must move. So we cannot linger. Goblins. They are coming. Let them come. Let them come. Gimli is mad, ladies and gentlemen. He's level 2 now. But leap attack needs to be level 3. Oh, but he doesn't care about physics. He's just gonna jump even though the leap attack isn't even available because he's a mad boy now. One power point unlocked. We can invest this if we wanted to into the draft. But again, draft is kind of useless. Guards of the White 3 enables the battalions of guards of the White 3 to be recruited from the Citadel. Ga uh, grants defensive bonuses to nearby structures. Our hobbits are doing absolutely nothing, but I believe uh, soon we're gonna have trolls coming. Yeah, we need to shoot down this troll. Let's use Atelas to keep Gandalf healthy. Okay, level 2 unlocked, that's great. Uh, you don't, we don't need to. Does Boromir have knockdowns here? Just like in BFM1? I'm not sure. I think we were not able to knock down anything just yet, but I might, I might have missed this. Okay. Alright. More openings. Okay, the only one who missing level 2 are these two heroes. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful. Don't, don't die, Hobbits. We have healing from the spellbook in the worst case. Let's use it. I don't want to risk the biscuit. He's actually chasing our Sam. You kill this, Gandalf. Okay, we need to kill this as soon as possible. Samwise Gamgee, the gardener. Goblins, they want to kill him, actually. Okay, the only one who's missing level 2 is Samwise Gamgee. So now that our heal is on cooldown, if you want to play smart, we should be waiting until it's back up. We don't need to rush anything, but since this is a video, I don't want you guys to wait. Atelas is also on cooldown. 
You know what, we're gonna risk the biscuit. I wanna do something though before we're gonna move on. Let's give them number two. Unfortunately, they have also no elven cloaks in this one. Unlike in the normal BFME, that means we can't make them invisible. So we need to be extremely careful with the hobbits in order to not lose them, which will make us lose the campaign. Okay, you can also do something. If almost Atelas back up in the worst case scenario. But it's not like we need it. Gandalf is taking a lot of damage. You know what I would love to see in this mod? Just like in BFME 2 or in Rise of the Witch King that you are able to... Wait a second. That you are able to... Um, Here they come. Use the shield bubble manually if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's try something. Boromir, shield bash him. Lightning sword. There we go. Yeah, actually, shield bash is able to knock him down on the ground. We didn't even use the Flame of the West just yet. Okay. So, in order to get the bonus, we need to give this last treasure to Samwise Gamgee to get him to level 2. This way we will accomplish now this bonus. What is this new devilry? Balrog from Morgoth. We actually unlocked every single bonus. Or accomplished every single bonus. Run! Okay, now we need to find the ancient demon who, who can this be? Oh my goodness, there is a giant... What? Guys, I can't show you that, but there is a giant spider on top of the wall. Shiloh, what are you doing there, my friend? Get up. Um, after this one, I'm gonna be the spider hunter, guys. Trust me on that one. But first of all, we need to kill Balrog before we're gonna kill the spider. What are you doing there? I'm actually so confused sometimes, you know, how can they get inside like that? Okay, hey, hey! I can also use the bow if I want to, no problemo. Wait, hold on a second, we need to move here. Kill them all! Kill them all, we have almost healed, I mean, we have healed back up now. We need to make sure to save the lightning sword and also the visa plans for Balrog. They will not get Legolas doesn't care. If you would ask me, who is more scary right now, the Balrog or the spider on top of the wall, I would say the spider. Hey, look, I'm gonna back, <laughs> back to the darkness. We need to peel back though. Our lightning sword doesn't deal too much damage to him, unfortunately. So we need to wait, we need to play around the cooldowns. There is no reason of, of us at alter. I can't even talk. There is no reason of us alter attacking him. Lightning Sword is gonna also paralyze him for a couple of seconds, as you can see. During this time, he's not able to attack us back. Always peel back, dodge out incoming attacks. Let's use Wizard Blast to see how much damage it's dealing. He doesn't deal any damage, we need to peel back. I'm actually, is he gonna use the Breath Fire very soon? No place in this world. Okay, let's use it. Look at the range out of the screen. That's pretty dope. This guy is double breath firing us. Hold on a second. Where is he? Go back to the shadow, I'm telling you. Get this Balrog of Morgoth. More like Balrog of Dead Rock. Let's use heal for the worst case scenario. I'm gonna finish him off with the Visa Blast. Go on, pew! The Balrog of Moria is no more. Balrog of Moria is no more. Fellowship continued their penance. Victorious, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like for your boy. Now I need to end this uh, mission and also this video. We're gonna continue, of course, tomorrow with more missions. Gandalf is the MVP, 109 units killed. Legolas, of course, doesn't need to do anything. He's gonna one-shot everything. And 99% uh, of the cases, Legolas will be the ultimate killer in any campaign you are playing in BFME 1 because he has such a long range. He's attacking extremely fast. And with that being said, shouldn't be a big problem for the Prince of the Mikwood Elves to over perform, uh, outperform Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White later on. I need to end the video right here uh, in order to finish off this uh, spider 
Thank you guys again so much. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.